What's up guys, Danny with Swamp and Stomp, and today I wanted to give you my first impression of the Arrow Hunter Merlin saddle. Uh, we were lucky enough to hunt out of these this past weekend, and uh, boy, were we surprised. <laughs> season I actually hunted out of a saddle um, kind of thing it was a sit drag that I modified and I sat in it for three hours and I realized I don't want to do that that thing was extremely uncomfortable and I'll be honest I was kind of expecting similar results with this thing but boy was I wrong um, after getting up in the tree and dialing it in I found the comfort where it mattered the most so this saddle is actually a size one which goes from 26 to 46 and i personally am a size 46 so i was a little bit worried um i i thought maybe you know maybe i got something a little bit too small for myself and um i started off a little bit concerned but i i totally uh was wrong um this is a perfect size for me and i can understand if you're hunting up north and you uh you're, you have to layer up and such then you might want to get the bigger size but here down in South Florida and even some places like North Florida you really don't have to layer out a whole lot um, even in the winter it's probably gonna be 40 in the morning but then in the afternoon it'll be easily 75 to 80 degrees that's not uncommon here in Florida so first I'll just kind of run through some of the features that uh, this particular saddle has that others don't so um, well, I guess first I'll mention it has these uh, like moly loops on the back. These are just uh, little strap loops that I have all these carabiners attached to. And you can attach all kinds of gizmos to it. This is uh, my range finder in a little case. I also have these uh, moly uh, dump pouches that strap on there very easily. And I'm just taking all this stuff off so I can show the rest of the saddle. But these are great. You can get them for like eight or nine bucks on Amazon. And uh, I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, but I keep all my stuff in here. I've got um, I've got my uh, my lineman belt in here. I've got my grunt tube. I've got a rattle bag. I have um, my accessory straps. Uh, a little bit of uh, estrus dough piss that I can use. I have a figure eight uh, that I can use to belay down uh, if I need to do that. And then I have another one on the other side, um, and same situation. I have all kinds of stuff in here. I've got uh, a headlamp. I have my binoculars in here um, and another flashlight. And then I've got my wind indicators. I've got plastic bags to cover all my electronics if it rains. So really just in those two pouches that I have attached to my saddle, I have pretty much all of the stuff that I take up into the tree with me. The only thing that's missing is uh, I usually carry a small backpack that I put my platform in and um, I put some waters in there. If I want some extra food, I can do that. But so it's really handy just having everything that you need already strapped onto, um, I guess, basically your tree stand, uh, whatever you're going to hunt out of, which in this case is going to be the saddle. So as I mentioned on the back of the saddle, there's all these little loops and I have little carabiners attached to them and I've got some of these little uh, hooks that I can hang stuff on and that's great for when I'm going up the tree I can hang my platform on there for when I'm climbing or just any other accessories that I need that way when I get up there they're right behind me I can hang my sticks whatever um, so that's really cool this uh, particular saddle uh, is I guess you can say it's in the flex family and basically what that means is it has this pleated section that folds over so you can when you're wearing it when you're walking in um, the saddle becomes a little smaller it doesn't take up as much space but then when you sit back into it this section opens up and it really cups around your butt and it really helps with um, with the comfort the saddle itself is very well built um, the stitching is flawless um, 
It's made here in the United States. It's actually built in Oregon. And um, just all of the material that they use is very high quality. The stitching is like second to none. You don't, you can't find any kind of imperfections in it. And uh, these buckles are climbing rated. So they're your basically safety buckles. Um, this one here says on the back, nine kilonewtons. So um, I tested this thing out before I actually went hunting. As you can see, um, kind of swinging around and uh, somehow or another I ended up upside down. But um, yeah, it's uh, definitely a fun saddle and safe, um, a safe saddle. So as you can see, um, when I don't have any weight on it, it actually stays pretty comfortably uh, just with the belt up top um, and these leg straps. Um, but when I have those saddlebags attached to the side, it adds quite a bit of weight and it starts to pull down. And as I'm walking in, it gets a little bit annoying. So what I did is I took some old um, straps from my, uh, my climber that I don't need anymore. And these are actually from uh, Summit and they have these like stretchy bits in there. And um, I made some suspenders. So I got some old straps and I pretty much just collect like all the straps when I have leftovers. And uh, so I attach those on here. There's actually attachment points on each side for suspenders and one on the back. And so I made these backpack straps. And at first when I made these, I had every intention of taking them off once I got to, you know, to the tree or when I got up the tree. But I actually discovered that they're really not uncomfortable because of that stretch. So now what I do when I get up into the tree, I just loosen them up a little bit and I leave those straps on. And the reason for that is if I step forward onto my platform to take some weight off of my, my saddle, uh, the saddle can hang from those suspenders. Um, and that way I don't have to worry about keeping the saddle in place when I sit back um, into my tether. Also, you have um, three loops here. Two of them are your linemans. The other two are going to be, I'm sorry, six loops, but you know what I mean, three on each side. You have the two top ones are going to be your linemans belt, or your linemans belt. Or if you wanted to use the middle ones, you, those can also work as your, as your linemans belt and, and or your bridge attachment. And then you have the two large ones that um, more than likely will be used as your bridge simply because it divides the pressure um, a lot nicer. And then on these loops, you're able to actually loosen up your, your bridge and then you can move it up or you can move it down depending on how you want the saddle to distribute the pressure on your legs. Um, I had found that after sitting for four hours, I went ahead and made a small adjustment with my um, bridge and man, it made a world of difference. Um, it took the pressure off the back of my legs and distributed a little bit more to my back. And I mean, it was like, I just started fresh all over again. For your leg straps, you have a similar thing. Now for the leg straps, um, really, you're not really putting any pressure on them or you shouldn't be. So, um, I don't see why you would want to move those anywhere, but if you did want to have them on the larger loop, you can. You can actually move it over. And then you can just have this small loop here in the middle as a backup or a secondary um, lineman's loop. If you're going over a brit, if you're going over a branch, or if you need to go over multiple branches, you can have two lineman's belt going and switching in between the two. And then you have the bridge. The bridge is actually, I was considering changing it when I first saw it because I kind of thought I preferred a, um, a rope bridge, but after using this thing, I grown to really like it. Um, this buckle was a little bit questionable, but after really looking at it, this thing is literally a piece of steel and um, it's, it's tough. There's no way you're going to mess that up. So being that it's a, you have a buckle there, you can actually adjust it. So if you want to shorten it up, take the slack out of it, shorten it up like that. So you can climb DRT or if you want to have a shorter bridge while you're going up the steps or how, whatever it is, you, you have that ability. Um, I used DRT this weekend. I also used sticks at some point, but with uh, this short bridge, this made DRT really, really easy.
once I got back up to my hunting height, then I set up my platform, took the weight off of it with a lineman's belt, and then I was able to um, lengthen my bridge by simply pushing the material through the webbing, and then boom. Then I had a nice long bridge for comfort. So all around, I mean, I think this is a, this is a great saddle. Also, um, being able to either go in wearing it or um, having it in your backpack, it's uh, really nice because it's just such a small platform um, that you're carrying around. And then once you have your saddle bags on here, pretty much you have everything you need. Uh, you can bring your backpack for water and or if you're filming your hunts, you're gonna have camera gear, so you're gonna wanna throw that in your backpack. But for the most part, you can go in with your bow, a rope, and a couple other items, and you're ready to hunt. So um, I'm really happy with it, and uh, very user friendly. Um, like I said, I have very little experience in a saddle, and uh, this weekend I was able to find comfort in this thing. Um, just a great all-around, well-built saddle, and. Uh, Definitely going to be getting a lot more hunts in this thing. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to harvest any any deer this past weekend, but we got a lot of cool footage. So if you want to check out that video, um, once once I have been done editing it up, I'll put it up over here somewhere. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking us out. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe on our channel. If you have any questions about the Merlin, please drop some comments down below. Also, if you're interested in getting uh, one of these up yourself, go to Arrow Hunter. Um, web page and in the coupon code go ahead and put swamp 10 and that'll get you 10% off uh, please make sure you check out our patreon page it's www.patreon.com forward slash swamp and stomp and there you'll see that um, there's different tiers and stuff that you can get in and uh, you get extra bonuses for our giveaways and also you get cool merch as we get it um, we have sticker packs going out now but pretty soon we're gonna have hats and, and shirts and other things going out so thanks for checking us out and uh, peace.